Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, I love Parasso shaving soap. I especially like Parasso Green, the eucalyptus formula. It comes in a tub like this. It's terrific stuff. And uh, it is uh, a rather a crope, like not quite a cream, not quite a hard soap. It's kind of a crope right in the middle. Uh, you can uh, just whip up a lather here, you know, put a little hot water on there and just load your brush here and do a face lather. Or if you want, you can scoop some out, put them in a lathering bowl and build a lather that way. Either way, it is great. And the eucalyptus formula is refreshing and toning, as they say. It's terrific stuff. I've always wanted to use this in their cream formula. They sell the uh, Parasso in a tube, uh, shaving cream in a tube. And I wanted to use the eucalyptus formula um, as a shave cream and um, I learned that uh, Bath and Body Works sells a product called Seal Bigelow Shave Cream and this is Parasso. It's made by, it's made by Parasso for Seal Bigelow. It's the eucalyptus formula. It's Parasso Green in this tube and if you don't want to wait for Amazon delivery, uh, buying this or Parasso online from Amazon, you can walk into your local Bath & Body Works store and pull it right off the shelf. They also almost always run a special of buy two, get one free. So it's $10 just like a tube of Parasso. It's Parasso in the tube. The formulas are identical and we're going to shave with it this morning and I'm really looking forward to that. My razor of choice is going to be the Edwin Jagger DE89L. I have not used this in quite some time. This is a mild razor. A lot of wet shavers love the Edwin Jagger razor. Now Edwin Jagger uh, is known for a really nice mild uh, razor head that gives you a very smooth mild shave. Um, but the great thing about Edwin Jagger is you can get this razor head on a variety of handles, variety of razor styles. For instance, I also have this short handled uh, Edwin Jagger razor. You can see short handle. It's a hard rubberized handle. And I've always said that I thought that the short handled razors were a little more efficient for me than this standard sized uh, handle Edwin Jagger. But you know what? Things change. Your technique improves over time. So we'll see how this uh, how this goes. Now this particular razor is less than $30 on Amazon. Uh, they have a wide variety of styles, uh, handle styles, plating styles, and the prices really vary from about $30 all the way on up to, well, whatever you want to spend, I would guess. So very, very nice, well-made razors. Edwin Jagger, wet shavers around the world, really, really like these razors a lot, so we're going to have a shave with that. Okay, we're going to uh, kick it off with uh, Vikings Blade Gentle Mint uh, pre-shave oil. I'm going to be using an Astra razor blade. Uh, that's really good. I'm going to finish it off, since I'm using uh, Parasso Formula shaving cream, I'm going to finish it off with... Uh, uh, Parasso green aftershave uh, splash. Before that, before that step, I'm going to use my Osma Alum Block. Uh, then Parasso green aftershave splash and a little bit of a Parasso uh, aftershave balm. So that's what we're going to do with the shave this morning. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, one other thing. I got this really neat shaving bowl that my nephew gave me as a gift. It was made by a local Cleveland artist. Uh, that's the great thing about being a wet shaver. Now, once your family knows that you're doing the traditional wet shave, boy, they give you the greatest gifts for the wet shave. So that shaving bowl is one example of that. Okay, so let's wet the face. Let's get some pre-shave oil. Let's build a lab. Let's get this shave going. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the Vikings Blade Gentle Mint. Pre-shave oil. I like this stuff a lot. All you need is about four to six drops. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. That's all I'm going to do. Four and yeah, maybe a little scrape off of the dropper there. Maybe four and a half. Okay. I like this shaving oil a lot. It's not overly thick. 
it is uh, it glides on very nicely uh, you just apply a little water and apply that uh, shaving oil and it, it it really does spread and coat very very evenly I like it a lot and it does give that added protection now I didn't forget about my shaving brush because I want to have a little bit of a discussion about that normally with shaving creams, I like to use a natural shaving brush, natural hair shaving brush, like a Badger or a Boar, that sort of thing. With hard soaps, I use synthetic brushes. I feel that synthetic brushes just build better lathers when you're using it with hard soaps, even cropes. This morning, <clears throat> because I have this new Vikings Blade uh, Dark Raven brush, which is a synthetic brush, uh, this thing feels so much like a natural hair brush, like a natural badger brush. It is so soft. It has so much nice backbone. I had to do a, a, a double take on this and look at the information and find out whether or not, <clears throat> whether or not, I had to do a double take on this, find out whether or not this was a synthetic brush. I, at one, one point, I was looking at it and feeling it. I thought it was a natural hair brush. So I want to see how this performs in building a lather from the Parasso cream. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'll have to, <clears throat> have to. <laughs> so here's my uh, hot water warming up in this shaving bowl. We're gonna pull that out like that. And then I'm gonna get some shaving cream here. And I'm gonna use about that much right there. Now, I do that because uh, I think it's kind of, uh, you know, when you pull out of a tube, you tend not to get as much as you would out of a tub. So I try to maybe overcompensate, thinking it's equaling that, what I would pull out of a tub. I'm going to pull that in there like that. This shaving bowl has those nice grooves on the bottom there. It helps to give a little bit of friction to build a lather. So I'm going to just take that and put that little remnant in there. I've got enough moisture in that brush there. If I have to add water I can just dip in the sink and get some more water so let's go ahead and build this lather here and boy oh there was a little bit of water a few drops of water in the bowl left which was which is nice so and look it's just exploding in lather wow I think the actual that, that ribbing on the bottom of the bowl has a lot to do with that but this brush is just man it's going to town with this Wow! I'm really impressed. Look at how, look at what I got here already. Wow! I mean, in seconds, in seconds, this brush is fantastic. It's the Vikings Blade Dark Raven Synthetic Brush. And I also like the knurling on the, on the base here. That really helps me to get uh, a nice, nice grip of it. So, it's got nice weight, it falls back nicely into the hand, but if you want to use it right there on the, on the uh, just on the rim, on the base of the, uh, the neural base there, not a problem at all. Look at that, look at that. I mean, this is already ready to go. This is ready to go already, wow. And it's got that great Parasso scent. Beautiful, okay, so, <laughs> here we go. We're gonna paint this on. Look at that, isn't that nice? Beautiful, wow. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water from the sink, just to add it here. Nice. I've got more now. I got more than enough for three passes. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, and it's got that great eucalyptus and I believe menthol sensation. It just wakes up the skin. Wow, look at that. Here we go.
get it off my nose there. I got a big nose. I know it gets in the way. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> I guess I just enjoy lathering. So I probably do that a little too much. I'm going to let that set up on the face a little bit. And we're going to put the Astro Razor Blade in here. Get this blade out. Astra, I don't know if you can see that. Astra. Okay, really nice blade alignment and blade balance. I don't have to do any shifting at all. End tabs are somewhat enclosed, but not completely, but definitely not a deal breaker. We're ready to shave. I'm gonna throw this under some hot, hot, hot water, and then just swirl in the sink to bring it to a nice warm temperature. All right, here we go, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very smooth. Very, 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 very smooth. I think the Astra Blade and the Edwin Jagger are a really nice combination. If you've not tried the Astra Blade with an Edwin Jagger razor and you have an Edwin Jagger razor, definitely give it a try. No tugging, no pulling, just a smooth, smooth shave. Now, when I shoot these videos and I'm talking and I do my chin area, I tend not to hold my technique. So I'm going to try to do that now, especially with the Edwin Jagger, because I've always felt it wasn't as efficient as, efficient as some other razors. So, you know, bear with me as I do this. Yeah, I want to pay, I want to pay extra attention to that area. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Really nice first pass on par with many, many other razors out there, mild razors. Uh, really very nice, but there is a certainly a definite smoothness to it. And I would say that my technique has improved to the extent that I think I'm getting more efficiency out of this, out of this Edwin Jagger razor. But I think the, I think the Astro Blade has a lot to do with that too. So again, if you got an Edwin Jagger razor and uh, you got the DE89 and it's not really that efficient for you, pop in an Astro Blade, try that. Okay, here we go. We're going to lather up for pass two. And again, I have plenty here. And this brush is so nice and soft. <clears throat> Very nice and soft to paint on this lather. Wow. Again, I would swear it's a badger brush, a silver tip badger brush. I, I, I don't have a silver tip badger brush, but I hear that they are like uber soft. And if this is any indication of what a silver tip is, wow. And again, I'm able to hold the brush right at the very end, or if I want it to fall back into my hand, even though the handle's a little slick, that knurling on the base, I'm able to grasp that lower parts of my fingers here and just have a really secure hold of it. Does not slip out of my hand at all. This scent, this eucalyptus scent is wonderful. 
It is absolutely awesome. This Parasso is great stuff. If you've never tried Parasso Green, get some. Get Parasso Soap, get Parasso Cream, get the CO Bigelow. Make sure you get the Eucalyptus Formula, Parasso Green or the CO Bigelow. It's fantastic. It really, really is. It is fantastic scent. All right, pass number two, we're going to go east to west across the grain. Okay, that's the third pass, that's the second pass done. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Second pass done, let's rinse. <laughs> a really nice close shave. Uh, and like a lot of other razors, if I had to uh, run, to, run off to the office, I could do that. But uh, I wanna get a little closer here on the chin and maybe some areas down here. Um, third pass, let's have a third pass. I mean, I love the scent. I love the feel of this stuff. It's just, it's invigorating, it's great. And the third pass uh, is gonna be real enjoyable, so why not? And it can be real light, doesn't have to really be complete. A very, very light touch for this third pass. And again, I wanted to show you that I have more than enough here more than enough here for a three passes and a touch-up if I wanted. I mean, it's just, there's just so much there, really. If you go to Bath and Body Works and you, and you do the buy two, get one free, you walk out of there with uh, three tubes of uh, Brasso Green shaving cream for uh, 20 bucks plus tax. So about 21 bucks is what I spent. And that's quite a savings because if I were to buy three tubes of that or Parasso, Parasso Green on Amazon, it would be $30. Even though I got free shipping, it would be $30. I saved, saved nine bucks. Come on. All right, here we go. Uh, pass number three, we're gonna go south to north against the grain. Very light. I, you know, there's <laughs> there's something great about that third pass when you get a really nice razor in your hand and you do that, that third pass, get that nice clean sweep, it's like out of a movie. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just a great feeling. If you're not doing the traditional wet shave with a safety razor and a, and a razor blade and a brush and a shaving cream, you're missing out. This is... The best time of the day for a guy, right here. This is it. All right, <clears throat> all right, I'm done. That's, that, was, that was great, and I still feel that great tingle from the CO Bigelow Shave Cream slash Parasso. I still feel that great tingle there. It is just, it's a terrific sensation. Okay, let's rinse. Okay, uh, we're gonna do my final two rinses. I'm gonna do my final two rinses. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to have to uh, do a little um, longer rinse with the warm water because there is 
some residual slickness that is on my skin from this shaving cream and also a little bit from the Vikings Blade Gentle Mint uh, pre-shave oil. But that's great because it gave me great protection and it gave me great glide. Um, really a wonderful smooth shave. Even right now as I'm talking to you, I can feel the eucalyptus and I believe menthol in the formula just uh, it's just got that tingle on my face. It's it's great. It's really great stuff. If you like that kind of sensation, this is this is definitely for you. Warm water rinse. <clears throat> okay, that uh, yeah, I had to do a little bit of rinsing to get that off, but boy, did my face feel nice. I mean, a cold water rinse will really. <laughs> I'm going to have that residual eucalyptus and menthol still there. It's going to really, this is really going to wake me up. Cold water rinse. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Now, I think it's a combination of the CO Bigelow shave cream along with the fact that it's about 10 or 15 degrees outside. So the water coming out of the pipes is good and cold. All right, I've got a fresh, clean towel waiting for me right here. Nice. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Wow. That was really, really nice. All right, we're going to take my uh, Osma alum block. I'm going to run it some other, I'm going to run it under some cold water, and we're going to Rub it across the face, the shaved area, and see what kind of feedback we get. We get a lot of zinging and stinging that we know, hey, a little too much. Uh, but if we don't, we know we had a nice mild shave. Well, no stinging at all. Uh, very, very few zings. Maybe small, small, subtle zings. But uh, but the um, uh, Allen blocks are great because it will cut, you know, knock down micro abrasions and area, any irritation you might get from a shave. But if you get that nice, smooth feeling, then you know you got a nice, mild, close shave. Even if you do get a little bit of zinging and just a little bit of stinging here and there. This stuff will really help to knock down that irritation and really close up those micro abrasions. So uh, I like to, uh, as you saw, I like to pat it dry, and then uh, I put it in this plastic dish here, right here, and uh, I let it sit overnight. Let it air out, and it's ready for my uh, my next shave. All right, I'm just gonna let that set up a little bit, and I'm gonna do a little cleanup. And I'll be back to finish up the shave and talk about um, the CO Bigelow shaving cream. Okay, so we'll be right back. Well, <clears throat> the Dark Raven Synthetic Brush by Vikings Blade is really wonderful. Uh, it is incredibly soft. Uh, as I say, I thought it was a natural hairbrush. It's synthetic. Did a great job whipping up the cream. Really performed well. Nice, soft uh, performance. Really, really nice. But here's the thing. All I did was rinse it out. I gave it a gentle squeeze and a few shakes. And now I'm buffing it. And look, it's almost completely dry. That's wonderful. And this also is in is such a nice size. You could use it daily at home or if you're, you're traveling. You could, uh, you could travel with this. Uh, absolutely no problem traveling with it. It's a really nice, universal size. It really works well. So, now that we've got that clean, I'm just going to set it on my Vikings Blade Admiral Razor Stand, like that. And it fits there very nicely. And it's uh, ready for my next shave. All right, uh, CL Bigelow, <laughs> wow. This is Parasso Green, and it's uh, terrific, and uh, uh, the best way to finish off a Parasso Green shaving shave, uh, even though it's Seal Bigelow, uh, is get Parasso Green aftershave splash. Uh, same great eucalyptus formula, or scent, or feel, sensation, right here in a splash.
Wow, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. That's gonna be kicking in here a little bit. Wow, um, I also like the uh, aftershave balm that they sell. This is for uh, sensitive skin and uh, it's got some good stuff in there. And uh, as I put this on my hand, my face is really dancing right now. That stuff is great. Okay, so a little bit upstairs here because it's winter and I wanna moisturize a little bit up there. And uh, you know, I shave my head twice a week, so it's part of the routine. Um, so maybe like that. Great shave, really, <laughs> really terrific shave. I am uh, so surprised and delighted that CO Bigelow makes this available uh, at Bath & Body Works. Uh, you no longer have to worry about ordering online and waiting a day or two if you've got a local Bath & Body Works in your area. When you're out and about, just stop in. They're right there on the shelf. 10 bucks a tube, buy two, get one free. Wow, that's wonderful, and that's what I did. And uh, boy, so I've got plenty of uh, Paraso or CO Bigelow shave cream to last me for uh, quite some time. It really is terrific, terrific stuff. So if, uh, if you do want to try Paraso Green and you don't have an Amazon Prime account, or uh, you don't want to wait uh, two days for shipping or whatever the reason might be, and you have a Bath & Body Works uh, store in your area, then just go on in and get CO Bigelow. This is Paraso Green, the eucalyptus formula. It is wonderful. Now, some wet shavers uh, tell me that this is a little thicker uh, than the Paraso Green. They, 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 they see a, a, a difference. Some wet shavers think it's identical. Some wet shavers see a difference is what I'm trying to say here. Some wet shavers who see a difference think that this is a premium shave cream to the regular Paraso. They think this is a little thicker and that uh, Paraso is a little wetter, uh, if, if you will. But um, I, have, I, I really can't tell you because I'd have to get a tube of Paraso to compare it. But as far as the feel, the sensation, the lather, the slickness, the protection, the thickness, the, cook, the cushion, identical to the Paraso soap, identical. Uh, everything is absolutely identical. So I guess down the road, I get a tube of Paraso and I'll compare the two side by side in the video. That would be kind of interesting to do. But uh, for my money, this is a terrific, terrific value. And again, uh, if you're out and about and you got a, a Bath and Body Works in your area, stop in, 10 bucks a tube, buy two, get one free. It really is a terrific, terrific deal. Uh, and it is a great shaving cream. It's made by Paraso for CO Bigelow. All right, hey, that's all I wanted to say to you. Uh, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Let me know, comment below. Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.